Today, at long last, we acknowledge the mistreatment of Australia's taxpayers amongst the longest suffering peoples on this land. We reflect in particular on the systematic punishment meted out to wealth creators and of the relentless grab of their hard-earned money. On behalf of my fellow legislators, past and present, I apologise for the laws and policies of successive coalition and Labor governments that have inflicted a profound loss of wealth on its citizens and deprived them of their liberties. On behalf of my fellow parliamentarians, I say I am deeply sorry about the fake generosity of those in power who have turned giving away other people's money into an art form. Can we take a minute now to reflect on how this money was wasted? Wasted on welfare for those on middle class incomes when it should be for the poor. Wasted on nearly two million public servants. How can a nation of 23 million possibly need two million public servants? Wasted on Aboriginal welfare that failed to improve their welfare. Wasted on logos for government departments, on grants for artworks that nobody ever sees, and on broadcasting sports nobody wants to watch. Wasted on environmental and industrial laws that cost thousands their jobs. Wasted on duplicated Commonwealth and State Departments, such as Health, Education and Environment. The time has now come for the nation to turn a new page in Australia's history by righting the wrongs of the past. For this, we can look to the policies of the Liberal Democrats. Our 20% flat tax would turn Australia into a magnet for wealth creation. And our plan to abolish import tariffs, alcohol tax, tobacco tax and fuel tax would dramatically cut the cost of living. We could then focus welfare on the needs of the truly poor, support our defence forces and justice system and maintain and improve our infrastructure. Governments from decades past, Labor and Liberal, right up to the present day, imposed a myriad of income taxes, company taxes, sales and consumption taxes, tariffs, excises, levies and stamp duties. And then they strangled creativity with red tape. For the needless pain, suffering and hurt caused by these outrageous taxes and regulations, we say sorry. For taxing and harassing the mothers and the fathers, the brothers and the sisters, we say sorry. For those people who have created wealth for everyone else and were then publicly vilified and pilloried, we say sorry. I offer you this apology without qualification. But now we must move forward together with hope renewed and condemn this to the scrap heap of history. Vote for the Liberal Democrats. We will never vote for a reduction in your liberties and we will never vote for an increase in taxes.